This jersey is just stunning. If you want to know where the jersey is from, it's from Zara. Gotcha. You can't be everything to everyone. And you can't be the jack of all trades. You hear my chat? That's where that chat ends. When you age in life, you realize how being nice is not going to get you everywhere. It's not. It's not. You can be nice till you are blue in the face. And they say things like, if you don't attend other people's funerals, no one's going to attend yours. I'll be dead. So it's okay. I need to pull the mountain to me. Just so that Rebecca Grande, our. But when I think about my sleeping arrangements and my showering arrangements, I'm like, Uncle Show, Uncle While I'm doing makeup, not dancing it. Awa, 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 well. everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video it is i it is me it is Gatleo malela just Gatleo. welcome back i really do appreciate that you are here as always thank you so much for choosing me over and over again quick disclaimer sun is coming in and out of the clouds you will see the color change throughout the video but i bringing my studio lights here. So thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. As you know, please, if you enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, and watch all the ads. I really would appreciate that. When the ad goes on, go to the bathroom. Go make yourself a cup of tea. Go do this, just don't skip it. To those who are not skipping it, you're a real MVP. You're a real MVP, I see you. But these are some of the things that I feel like I am too old for. If you agree, let me know below. Let's get into the video. Here's the first one, okay? I can't do it all. I can't be superwoman. I absolutely cannot. You know, I can't, I need to agree that there are some things that I'll have to give and receive and some things that I won't receive because I just can't do it all. I can't be friends with everybody. I can't do everything at every given time. Sometimes it's okay to accept and receive help and you can't be doing everything all the time. I'm far too old. I'm far too old to feel like I need to be here, there and everywhere, to feel like I need to be present with each and every single one of my relationships. Some of them are going to suffer because life happens and we're grown and people need to live their lives, okay? But I genuinely can't be superwoman. And I realize that I'm too old for that and I'm okay with the fact that I refuse to be superwoman all the time. I can't do it all. It's okay to accept and receive help and assistance and some things are for you and some things are not for you. You can't be everything to everyone and you can't be the jack of all trades. You hear my chat? That's where that chat ends. Here's the next one. I'm not gonna be a nice girl anymore. I'm too old to be a nice girl. You hear my chat? Am I a kind girl? Yes, I am. But there are moments that require you not to be nice. You can't always be giving and giving and giving to people and being nice and smiling and accommodating and people pleasing. I used to do this. This is the life that I used to live where I was this nice girl. I was just constantly nice. I'm not a nice girl anymore. I'm kind. I give kindness. I expect to receive it. If I don't, I'm out. You hear my chat? but I'm not going to be a nice girl anymore. I'm too old to be nice. I'm too old to be nice. When you age in life, you realize how being nice is not gonna get you everywhere. It's not, it's not. You can be nice till you are blue in the face. Do you understand what I'm saying, Ditebo? You can be nice until you're blue in the face. It's not going to get you anywhere. Be kind. Oh, be kind. Oh, oh, kind people are just glorious people. They are God's favorites. We do. I'm God's favorites. Sometimes people take advantage of our kindness. Sometimes people see our kindness as weakness. But nice is something I refuse to be. Nope. Yes. 
no and then my phone can't recognize me again because yo it's a king it's a king i am too old to actively go out looking and searching for new friendships i'm too old for it honestly honestly and i and i and i and i'm a big advocate for friendships okay but i just feel like things should just happen organically where somebody becomes your friend if you're somebody who doesn't have friends i also get the chat of actively wanting to go out and make new friends but because i've already got friends I don't actively go on searching and looking to make friendships. There are people that are going to get you and there are people that are going to be for you and there are people that are not going to be for you. There are people who are going to come into your life for a season and then they're gone. And then there are people who are going to be in your life for your whole entire life. And that's wonderful. All the seasons, all the memorable moments, all the sad times, the good times, whatever. But I realize that to actively go out looking to make new friends with either the richest person or the smartest person or the most biggest socialite. I want to be close to all of these social climb and do all these things. I don't want to do that. I'm far too grown to be making new friends for me. Am I going to meet people in spaces when I'm out and then generally and organically it develops into a friendship? Great. That's happened many times with Lucia, one of my friends. That's how it happened. It generally, gradually just, just moved up in levels until we became friends. But I don't genuinely go out looking to make friends with people. I just feel like I'm too old for that. But amen, amen, each to their own. Yeah, you know the, the business of being coaxed, even maybe bordering on bullied, to attend special occasions, family functions, this, this, this. I am too old for that. If I do not want to attend my cousin's wedding, I don't want to attend my cousin's wedding. If I do not want to attend a funeral, I don't want to attend a funeral. I've got really big triggers with funerals that just stems from my mom i don't like seeing people cry i don't like seeing people because then i cry then i'm a mess then it makes me uncomfortable i just want to get out of there same thing weddings i like weddings i just don't like the amount of people it becomes overly stimulating for me so i am too old to be coaxed into going somewhere sometimes even bordering on bullied let me tell you why i say bordering on bullied because have you ever noticed how your parents sometimes will say you know you need to attend this funeral because this was a family member not bearing in mind the fact that you had no idea who this family member was you hardly ever got to see them you never got to see them or engage in them or with them right but now you need to go and attend their funeral <laughs> Right. And they make you feel bad. And they say things like, if you don't attend other people's funerals, no one's going to attend yours. I'll be dead. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like genuinely. <laughs> if nobody's going to attend my funeral and you think that I'm going to be bothered by that, I'll be dead. I'll be six feet under the ground and trying to make my way up to the pearly gates of heaven and standing there with Peter and saying, bro, let me in, dog. Let me in. I want to see my mom, bro. I'll be dead. So if nobody wants to, yeah, you can't do that because how sad am I live to? How number title is am I Then fine. Because there's certain people, but but am I there's certain people that I do attend, their functions and whatever, whether I like it or not, I do attend. But no, I'm not going to be coaxed or bullied into, uh, I'm too grown for that. I'm absolutely too grown for that. I am far too grown to chase around after people. Nah, nah. Whether we are friends, whether we are family, whether we are lovers, whether we are whatever, I am too grown. I will give myself and be present and say, listen, let's talk about this. 
Let's fix this, whatever, whatever. But if I need to chase around after you, forget it. I'm far too grown for that. I understand that some things will work out, some things won't work out. Listen, but if I need to chase around after you, I need to pull the mountain to me. Just so that Rebecca Grande, our then you can. It makes sense. The then joke. Our mm mm. Got no more chase left to give in me. No, no. I don't have much chase left in me. I'm too grown to be chasing around after people. You mad at me? Okay, I'm gonna ask you. Why are you mad? I don't even want to talk about it. Cool, cool. Might ask you one more time, why are you mad? I don't even want to talk about it. We're out. We're done. We're done. We're done. I don't want to hear it. We're done. I asked you. I reached out to you. I told you I care. I told you that I want us to work through this. I told you that I care for you as my friend. And the dogs are barking. Okay? The dogs are barking because they agree with me. They agree with me. I chased after you because you're my mate. And I care about your opinion. And I care about how you feel. It matters to me. That's why I chased after you. But I'm not going to do it more than twice. You got one option. You got one, one moment. Which is just after it happens. And I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. Whatever, whatever. You say no, shut You got a second moment. After that second, we out. I'm done. I'm done. There's nothing more to discuss with you. I'm too old for the heat. I am too old. Did you hear that? Must I say it again? Okay. I am too old for the heat. I am too old for the heat. I am. I could not be bothered with this heat. You can love the heat all you like. Let me tell you, the older you get, the heat becomes unbearable. Trust me. Hear my chat. Trust me on this one. The older you get, the more the heat becomes absolutely unbearable. I can't stand the warm months. I can't. It's harder to cool down. You can't sleep at night. You open the windows and then some bugs and stuff, stuff start crawling into the house because you can't sleep without the windows uh, open, right? You can't just, oh, the body sweats. The sweat between your thighs. And that happens as you're even growing. Like, it's just, um, oh, oh. Spare me with the heat. Spare me. I'm good. I am too old to not be comfortable. Do you understand what I'm saying? Jeans too tight, they're coming off. Clothing too tight, it's coming off. I don't like this food, I'm not eating it. I am too old. Go to a concert or a festival where the bathrooms are like freaking a kilometer away. Too old. I'm not going to do that. I get pressed. I drink a lot of water. I need to go to the bathroom ASAP and I need it to be close to me. I'm too old not to be comfortable. I want to be comfortable wherever it is that I go. Yes. That's why as much as Kehala Bushfire Festival, Kehala. But when I think about my sleeping arrangements and my showering arrangements, I'm like, I'm kosho, I'm kosho. Because I know for a fact camping is not for me. But I really want to try Push Fire Festival. I can't, I can't. I am too old not to be comfortable. I like to be comfortable. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about just comfortable. I want to eat what is comfortable for me to eat. If you're now giving me this and there's a fish eye in there, I'm not gonna eat it. I'm not gonna eat it. No, I'm, I'm too old not to be comfortable, bro. I'm too old. Wearing makeup every day, I am too old. I don't want to do that. I don't wanna do that. Okay. Things I'm too old for, social media trends and lines. No, you'll never hear me say, oh, bye, Felicia. Or that one that Mel was using called the ultimate girls trip where she was talking about something about some, something about people being rats or something like that. Like, no, you'll never catch me speaking like that. If I am saying something, it's something that I've said. If I say, catch me two streets away, you know that I would typically say that. If I say, Imani, you know that it's something I would typically say.
Yeah, I understand. So, y'all, I'm going to catch phrases and do trends on TikTok and do that. <laughs> I'm too old for that. I can tell you right now. Ah, na, na, na. You'll never catch me do it. You'll never. You'll never. That's just me. There might be people that are my age that feel like they don't mind, they, they love it, whatever. But for me, the trends, the this, the this, you'll never. You'll hear, make me sweat, make me harder, make me lose my breath. While I'm doing makeup, not dancing it. I am too old. To deal with the current dating space. Do you hear my chats? I'm too old to deal with the current dating space. It's a cesspool. Mark me absent. I'm fine. I am absolutely fine. Will I find other ways to be happy as a human grown-up adult? Yes. But am I willing to jump onto the dating space and do dates after dates after dates? <laughs> Mock me absent. <laughs> Never third. Never third. But will a girl make a plan? She will. If she needs to. But am I gonna do dates of the dates of the day? Absolutely not. Personally, congratulations to everybody who's in the dating space and loving it because I don't know what there is to love. Personally, I'm too old to entertain family drama. Do you hear my chat? Do you hear my chat? I'm too old to entertain Hore Ausi Simbi, Olwana Le Abuti Ade. Okay? And then now they both know me, and now they want to put me in the middle of all of that. I'm too old to deal with things like that. Hore Somebody is not talking to the other person, and now the other person is not talking to this. I don't. I, if it doesn't involve me, Mark me absent. Ah, eh, man. Ah, eh, man. Tung, ah, eh, man. Ah, eh. Ay, 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 ay. Mark me absent 15,000 times because I'm not going to come to that party. Hago kera speech for wena. I'm not going to defend you to this other person and third other person and this and that and say this and third and absolutely not. Absolutely not. Mark me absent. Don't lay your hands on my family members, though. Then mark me present. But if we are talking about just generally, Hori, Ausis Mang Mang is fighting Linda Tess Mang Mang in the family, mark me absent. I don't want to know about it. Even if they tell me, I don't want to know about it. They can come to me, I don't want to know about it, bro. That's it. The only people's issues that I listen to as my immediate family, immediate, not, not cousins, not whatever, immediate, and my grandmama. That's it. I'm not going to hear anything about anybody else. I don't want to hear it. Unless you're sharing some good news, good things, yes. But don't tell me, or mang mang, or we say your head looks like uh, 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 your head is full of air. Or, 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 hey, they said it to you. And I ain't got nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. No. Another one. I'm too old to downplay my achievements. Or oh, you know about my achievements. Yeah. Yeah. While I'm in the space of achieving them, I'm very quiet. I don't say nothing while I'm working. No. But if I, I gain my success, if I gain my kateho, you'll know about it. Hey, you will know. You will know. You will know. If I win the lotto, you will know. No, no, you weren't. <laughs> I'm just saying, my behavior will change. I'll move different. I'll move different because if there is one thing I have learned, I am not going to downplay my achievements or my successes. You will know about them. You will eat it up. It'll be on Instagram. It'll be on TikTok. It'll be on whatever. You will see her. Man, this girl is mo She is making mood. She was doing this now, just now. Now she's doing this just now. Now she's doing this just now. And the achievements don't have to be big ones. I'll never tell you that I'm moving into a bigger house. You'll see it. I won't show you the house, but you'll see that I'm in a different space. I'll never downplay my achievements, especially if I've worked hard to get there. Facts. Uh, I am too old 
to be fretting and worrying about my weight. I've gotten to that point. I've gotten to that point. Let me tell you why. And I say this with a pinch of salt. It's also because I know what I need to do or what I need to eat or what I need to drink to make sure that I am at a consistent weight. Am I going to have a problem if I gain weight? Yes, I'm going to have a problem with it. But am I going to worry and fret over it every single day when I look at myself in the mirror? Absolutely not. Absolutely. Yo, I couldn't care. I couldn't care at them. I am too old to be worrying and fretting over how I look physically. As long as I like it, I'm not going to be sitting and stepping on a scale every other day or watching now the fact that, yo, yesterday I ate a bagger, now I'm eating ribs and whatever. If I want to eat them, I'll eat them because I know what I need to do to regulate. But fretting and worrying about what I'm going to eat or what my weight is like and at every day. Too old, too grown, that moment's gone. It's fine, we're good. Mm -mm. Too, old. too old. Also, also very important, I am too old to accumulate things that I do not need. You hear my chat? Are you hearing this chat? I'm too old to accumulate things that I do not need. So the life of overconsumption for me, buying things ridiculously, even though I know I don't need them, extra clothes that I don't need, extra bags that I don't need, extra makeup that I don't need, extra this, no. The only thing I will buy a lot of are these here things. You see them? These here things are the only things I will buy a lot of. I don't have a problem because why? I get through them, I read them. <laughs> I do and I enjoy it and it fuels me and it grows me and it grows my imagination and it grows my vocab. So I'm benefiting if he, if he somewhere there. And uh, one day, one day, books, books are gonna be exp even more expensive than they are now. And once you have them, now you're having vintage, you're having classics, my boy, sitting there at 60 and you could have a book that you're gonna sell for 10,000 rand. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just saying, maybe not, but I'm just saying that I am too old for accumulating things that I do not need anymore. That's not my life anymore. I couldn't care less. I could not care. Guys, gents, guys, I don't even want to lie. I couldn't care less. If I don't need it, I am too old. I'm far too old to feel uncomfortable with aging. I don't care anymore. I don't even, I've gotten to that stage in my life where I don't even remember how old I am. Genuine. <laughs> For real. When this birthday came along, I was like, wait, am I 34? 35? 36? Am I 35? No, I'm 36. I could not genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, I could not remember how old I was. So am I going to be uncomfortable about aging? Absolutely not. I'm very fine with aging. I'm too old to be uncomfortable about aging. That's just me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even with my droopy lash that's making my whole face look really weird. So sorry about that. If you did enjoy the video, like, subscribe, watch the ads, play it again. I really don't mind. Watch the ads. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Also, do share with us what some of the things that you feel that you're too old for. Whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, even 50s watching this, share with us what you feel like you are way too old for or too old to entertain. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here today. Until the next video, I will see you very, very soon. Until then, sayonara. I'm too old. I'm too old to get up from this chair.